consciousness from zero to a thousand, right? Who is that? He's one of the world's foremost psychologists and psychiatrist. He had the largest psychiatry. David who? David Hawkins. Hawkins, okay. Wrote the book, Power Versus Force. Hmm. I got a, we got oh. a scale, scale of consciousness Power from versus, zero to uh -huh. a thousand. Hmm. It's a breakthrough in, in the science of psychology. Ready? Okay, yes. Interesting. And they found out that they are, they found out that that human consciousness mm. is connected to a collective consciousness, okay? And that you can ask questions on any subject and get a yes or no answer at any time. Anybody can do it, okay? Mm. And they have also discovered that every part of your body mm. has intelligence, even the smallest cell. It's yeah. Like, okay? And, and consciousness seems to be per permeating everything. Permeating means what? fills up everything, mm. everything has consciousness. And humans being able to, to direct the flow of, of consciousness mm -hmm. have the unique ability to, right? to, to direct. Pass me a paper towel. We have, we, we're, we're, because of that, we are reality crafters. Mm -hmm. We craft realities. Mm -hmm. We are not an effect in nature. We are a cause in nature, in the physical realms. We create the very, the very nature of reality, we are part of the creative process, our, our, our intelligent consciousness. And it's part of a greater consciousness. Mm -hmm. This is the latest in psychology. This is not my idea. Yeah, but you said power versus uh, force, right? That, that, that's what I'm interested in because right. even if we have each one consciousness, that uh, when we mingle each other, two, three people, four, five, more, then this power dynamic started happening. Yes, it does. And then some people, word and action two are two different things, right? Yes. So how do you re recon? Uh, how you say? How do you unite that when a bunch of people having consciousness? Yeah, maybe we we'll have a good consciousness, but when we yeah, force truth. and power, this force and power, what the well, he's talking about? Oh, uh, the truth. The truth is the tr truth. And understanding unfolds uniquely for each in individual in their own way, like a f like every flower unfolds, and yeah. opens up in its own way. Yeah. However, there is a process, a generalized process, uh -huh. like fl like plants growing and then flowering and then going <laughs> to seed. Mm -hmm. And we're the same way. We go through a process. The, the, uh, but these levels of consciousness. Yeah. We 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 all. We all could, could learn, could, could speed up our learning. Mm -hmm. Instead of moving inches at a time, we can we can take leaps and bounds yeah. by learning these levels of consciousness mm -hmm. and putting our attention upon it. Because the number one law in, the, in this universe is the law of attraction, which says that wherever your attention goes, reality flows. And if you start putting your attention upon these higher forms of of awareness and or consciousness you will start to work towards that. But you, you have to know the fundamentals of any game if you're going to be successful at the game. Human beings in, in this society mm -hmm. don't know the fundamentals. Mo most of us don't know the fundamentals of reality. Mm -hmm. We they've been hidden from us on purpose by our culture and yeah, by our education. I'm an excellent I, I feel driver. that Jeff wants to talk. I, okay. I'm, I'm an excellent driver. <laughs> Okay, the, the, about the game, tell I me about what you... I know it. I feel that you, you want to get a clue. <laughs> get a clue, yes. Kids these days. That's what I did, I got a clue and started finding it out. Tell me what you learned about Warriors game yesterday that you can apply to everyday life, like right now. Don't give up. You gotta want to win. You gotta what? You, you gotta wanna win if you're gonna win. You gotta wanna wanna win. Yeah, some of some of the players on the everybody Golden, wants to win. Some right? of the Golden State players really weren't trying their best. And yeah. Some were. Yeah. And I I don't think the coach was even trying real hard. I think they wanted it to, to go to a seventh game. Uh huh. I thought that would be more interesting. Well, everybody wants to go to the seventh game because it's more exciting, more interesting, and and and, and the network makes the network. networks make the millions, last. and everybody gets to have another entertainment night and all that kind of thing. So that the coaching wasn't done right. Well, Ready? 
Yeah. I thought that he was the excellent coach. It seems like. But yeah, but that's on that's on an overall basis for the season. But that particular game, he didn't they, coach at all. I didn't see him doing the Cle anything. the Cleveland the Cleveland team, mm -hmm. like the Oklahoma team, mm -hmm. were bigger, mm -hmm. taller, mm -hmm. faster, mm -hmm. and more athletic. More aggressive. Okay, mm -hmm. and they were more aggressive. Oh. But they didn't win yeah. because. Oh, because Golden State mm -hmm. can shoot your lights out. They have these incredible shooters, okay? Okay. And when they want to play, but they have to play a decent defense, and they weren't playing defense last night mm -hmm. because they had they had over 60 points in the first half. Mm -hmm. They're not playing defense. Mm -hmm. If they play a little bit of defense, mm -hmm. and they have a, 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 a motion movement offense mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that gets their shooters open, mm -hmm. then they can win. But they weren't doing either one of those things. And that was just plain bad coaching. And also it was plain bad motivation on the parts of some of their, uh, only two or three of their people were really, <coughs> really hustling. Where on the Cleveland team, the whole team was hustling. So bad there was it not enough people are. hustling, you mean? Bad coaching, bad desire. By Golden State. By Golden State. <laughs> what the, what, how do you know the desire? What the, what's the, the, the well, desire that we want to want, right? It's easy to see. You can see. It's easy to see. Two guys like Green, Green, yeah. and Thompson. Uh, Green was really going at it, yeah. and Curry was really going at it. But Thompson wasn't going at it, okay? Hmm. And one of the other guys wasn't going at it. They, 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 they didn't have a full team that was putting out full effort in, in, in a championship game, hmm. okay? And the coach wasn't coaching his best. He was letting them just do random picks and rolls. Hmm. And, they, and, and when, they, when, they, when, they, when they lose, when they win, in the past, they would they would have a, they would have a, a moving offense mm -hmm. that would weave in and out and get all the shooters open. Yeah, they might have, they might have to flow in and out two mm -hmm. or three times before they got them open. Okay. They weren't doing any of that. Okay. And they weren't playing defense. Oh, they weren't playing. De okay. Not, and they weren't being aggressive up and down the field, um, offense and defense. The other team was other team was doing all was doing everything almost perfect. They mm. wanted to win, and they were. And they so were really Sunday going night. Around. Sunday night, right? Yeah. So, so they're they're going to go. They're going to the seventh game, and you you'll probably see both teams doing their best on this this final game. What about the one uh, Curry roster or something? He did he yell at the something? Well, Curry or is or their the big shooter, what? Yeah. and Thompson is their big shooter. They're yeah. both they're about the same. Yeah. And um, well, yeah, Curry got ejected. They so also they go, kicked out. They, they go why? Because he acted rude or what? Did you see that? Yeah. Frustrated? He was frustrated with the call that the uh, referee made and complained too heavily. And also, he got, uh, he got kicked out. I'm, I'm curious that how heavy he was, you know, like, did he... He didn't do that much to get thrown out. The he shouldn't have got, he he got, got, got thrown out. out. It was, uh, the, the referees were in favor of the Cavaliers. They're in Cleveland. When, you, when you're in Cleveland, mm -hmm. You get the calls go your way more. Because here, here in Golden State, the calls go your way more. Yeah, because more. we weren't watching the TV, right? The That's why the gets home team. Yeah, like uh, so they did that the homeland, but sounds like, what did he do? I couldn't tell. You know, it wasn't Chris. He didn't really Korea. do much of anything. He just complained a little too much for the referees liking and the referee objecting. And another another thing is that their their big center Bogus, the big tall center, got injured last game. And couldn't play, and that was a big problem too for the Golden State Warriors. And and so the coaching, the coach didn't do anything to count. It was bad coaching. And I'm really starting to think that that basketball, because it's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, billions of dollars a year, that I'm starting to think that it's not unlike wrestling. So there are sometimes when the games, big money's paid and people don't do their best on purpose. I really feel that way. Mm. With all with all professional sports now, I'm really starting really to feel that again. way.